So what's happening guys it's me Amit Kumar back with another interesting unboxing review video and this time we are going to review easy cover camera body protector so without any further ado let's get started As a part of getting up for my upcoming trip to Udaipur the city of lakes I've been trying out this easy cover silicone skin I've been intrigued by them for a while and they are essentially silicon gloves for camera bodies each one designed to fit a specific camera model the one I've been using fits the Canon 700D Well they are relatively inexpensive which is good they mostly come in black some also come in bright yellow and red but being an army brat I thought of picking camouflage pattern and I think my decision was not bad this definitely looks stealthy and premium at the same time. My camera tends to get a bit banged up here and there every time and it definitely makes me worry. So I've been trying out an easy cover on my camera to see if it's something that will be useful. There are cutouts for dials and screen as well as for buttons. Some other buttons are covered over but their position and label is marked over the cover. Though it is not always easy to read. I found it easy to put on. It's not something that you can easily just take on and off easily on the move, but it wasn't much of problem to install it. It's easier if you remove any camera strap or other accessories first. Once installed, it forms a snug fit for the camera. There's also flap that goes over the hot shoe and it has a groove bottom that means you can easily slide it into the hot shoe and it will hold in place. If you need to use the hot shoe for a flash or external microphone or a remote commander, you can easily fold the flap back. I have not run into any real issues with it interfering with the operation of the camera. Although it does feel a difference and some of the cover button doesn't give a quite same tactile feedback with the cover on. Overall it does feel different in your hand so it can take a little getting used to if you are controlling by touch. It comes with a plastic adhesive screen cover which I have already installed but frankly speaking there are better tempered glass ones available so you can get those for a better screen production. I'll try to link them below if I get hands on some of them online. Now you guys must have a lot of question in your mind right? So let me answer some of FAQs. Does it add protection against water? No not really. It's important to note that it does not make your DSLR waterproof. As you can see most of the moving parts, buttons and doors remain exposed so that you can operate them properly. Does it offer protection against knocks? To some extent yes it does protect but this is not a magic suit of armor for your camera but it does add an extra layer of shock absorbent silicon around many of your exposed area of the body. So you will need a realistic expectation of how strong a knock it's going to protect against. Does it improve your grip? No, unfortunately the surface of the silicon isn't as textured or grippier as it could be and the small but noticeable extra bulk adds just that a little bit extra to wrap your hands around. It's smoother than something like neoprene and it's a shame that it's not grippier. Does it protect against scratches? Yes, mostly. There are still exposed areas but overall it adds a lot of protection against scratches. And if you got plan to resell your camera in future, this could make a real difference. With just the silicon cover installed there, the LCD screen remain exposed. But thanks to that separate adhesive screen protector cover included in the content. Does it interfere with operating the camera? On the camera 700D, not really. All of the necessary buttons, doors and the dials are still accessible. In some cases, the smaller exposed control can be a little more difficult to adjust because of the thickness of the silicon around them. But the biggest thing that I have noticed is that I needed to recalibrate my touch memory for the controls because they feel a bit different. So for a while, I found myself looking down at the camera a bit more than usual. But that's something I got used to pretty quickly. Does it protect lenses? No, it's only for the camera bodies. If you're looking for something for your lenses, check out my earlier video. You can find the links in the description or simply tap on the i button right now. Can you still use the camera on tripod or with QR clip like those from the Peak Design? Yeah, sort of. 
The bottom is cut away to expose the tripod socket, but the lip of the cover does interfere a bit. But you could conceivably cut out a little from the lip of the cover, but that's going to weaken it and probably result in looseness. So this is a weak area of the easy cover, although it's probably going to be different on different cameras and with different QR plates. Where can you find them? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Check out all the links in the description below. But if you're getting a better deals elsewhere in the market, just buy it. They are definitely worth it for your expensive camera body. Do you guys know any other brands for camera body protection covers? Do let us know in the comment section. Well, that was all about this easy cover camera body protection. If you like this video, definitely give us a thumbs up. And if you're watching our video for the first time, do visit my channel, check out my other videos too. I make videos on Indian consumer goods and services. So if you like what I am doing, do subscribe to my channel and be a part of Indian buyer family. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Links to everything is given below in the description. This is Amit signing off and as always thanks for watching.